Good day and welcome to another trading year. As you probably already know, I am Monaco Daniel with Mastermind Trading. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about two quite distinct um, concepts or strategies for trading um, any price or any candlestick charts that is largely usually mistaken for themselves. Now, here we have two concept to approach of trading that is usually mistaken for one another and it is none other than um, break of structure and change of character so in today's video we are going to be looking at what a change of character is as well as what a break of structure is and then we are also going to be looking at what exactly did, do these two strategies or do these two concepts share in common as well as at what point um, can these two be clearly differentiated from one another that's what we're going to be looking at today so guys before i jump into what we have for today don't forget to like the video subscribe to the youtube channel as well as leave a comment below. I personally reply to every comment that is left in the comment section. So with that being said, what is a break of structure? This is a term that is, um, it is growing quite popular among a lot of traders. You often hear traders say, oh, um, there's, there's a break of structure, there's a break of structure in the market now. What exactly do we mean by this break of structure and how do you identify them when you look at your price chart? So basically, I'm going to illustrate that down here. Um, so basically, a break of structure is um, that point in a price chart where you have prices breaking key levels for the continuation of a trend yeah i think it is very important that we get it this way a break of structure just like this let's say um an uptrend looks somewhat like this yeah now a break of structure on this price chart we are assuming this to be a price chart is going to be in at every point in time where you have prices breaking to breaking through a previous eye to create a new eye. So a break of structure like the name implies is you have a structure in the market and then market breaks, prices breaks through key levels on this structure towards the, the continuation of that trend. Yeah. So this is an uptrend. And if you want to look at um, the areas or the points where we have break of structures in this chart, we are going to be looking at this level and then this level and then this level and maybe this if we happen to find prices above this. So like we know, an uptrend is defined by higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows. So a break of structure in an uptrend is anywhere we have prices breaking um, a higher high in an uptrend for the continuation of that, that uptrend. As well as in a downtrend, we might want to look at um, a break of structure to be something like this. That point where you have... Um, Price is breaking lower lows to form new lows, lower lows to form new lows. So as simple as, as this is, this is literally what um, break of structure means when you are looking at a, a, a price chart, when you're looking at any price chart. This is the simplest form, but this is literally what break of structure means. Break of structure is you have prices building up towards a particular direction in the market and then for every time you get a confirmation of that trend you might want to look at that place as a break of structure so uh, we might want to mark these levels this level 
and this level and this level as well as this level right here we might want to look at all of this as um, a break of structure now a change of character is not very much different from a break of structure i like to even say that a change of character is as well a break of structure i think the major difference between a break of structure and a change of character is that a change of character usually happens when you find um, a break of a significant level, except that in this case is usually signaling the start of a reversal or the start of a new trend. So let's say uh, we add this to be an uptrend and then this is a lower eye another lower eye and a lower eye right here and then a possible lower eye somewhere around here now a change of character is that point where um prices break a swing structure or a structure in your price chart to form a, a reversal signal yeah this is where um So this right here is where we have our change of character. A break of structure is that flip of a structure level, that flip of a swing level in your price chart. Now, a change of character is a flip of a swing level to signal a reversal. So up here is a break of structure. In as much as this can also be referred to as a break of structure, if we want to look at the downtrend that possibly starts from somewhere around here and then it goes on like this and all of this, this definitely is a break of structure. So a change of character is very much a break of structure, except that um, on a, if, we are, if we are to look at the both of them, as strategies, separate strategies, then a break of structure happens towards the continuation of a trend, while a change of character happens um, for the reversal of a trend. Now, take note that usually two things happen before a, a change of character. Usually, first, you would have a break of structure Okay, first you would find um, some sort of a break of structure and then uh, swing failure, prices failing to create new eyes or new continuation structure, let me put it that way. So this year, I like to just call it my swing failures. This right year, is what I would ordinarily look at as swing failure. So before your change of character, you are most likely going to see first a break of structure. Yeah, now this basically just tells you that um, we are coming from a pre previous trend. And then secondly, you begin to see that this previous trend, as it is in this case, an uptrend, fails to to create new highs or lows highs in an uptrend lows in a downtrend and then you have a break of structure for a reversal right here to be our change of character so with that being said i'm not going to take all of our time to basically look at this i'm going to go into a chart let us look at how this is applicable in a price chart. Remember, you are not always going to find these illustrations exactly how it was drawn out. You are not always going to find them exactly that way on your price chart. So if you look at this chart, first things first, I said, um, I'm going to look at the change of character right here. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me, yeah, I'll look at this. First, um, we add a change of structure, okay. 
no some sort of swing failure down here and then a change of character here a break of structure a change of character change of characters are usually followed by um by break of structure you just before you can say there is a change of character or there is a change of trend we need to be coming from a previous trend how do you say that an uptrend has now reversed into a downtrend if you can't identify clearly with market structure that this was an uptrend so first you would usually find break of structures like we have here and yeah and then you would find your change of character following it usually you might have your swing failure before your change of character or after your change of character as it is here but it is most important that we need to be coming from a previous character we need to have a previous market structure or character before you can see that market is changing character so that is it well for here i'm going to look at this downtrend right here so on this point right here we have um it, a break of structure another break of structure and then one year and the final break of structure yeah now right here we have a change of character because right here you can see prices slightly flipping above um the previous eye right here now what a lot of institutional traders wants to do uh is when you find this break of structure right here you want to start looking for your supply or your sup your supply or demand zones as in this case let's say a demand zone right here you want to start looking for an order block that you take um, your trade from. In this case, we have a downtrend and then a change of character. Now, what most people would want to look out for is prices dropping into another block area, probably something like this, and then going to give this confirmation for the new uptrend. The same way in a downtrend, let me look for a case where we can identify this for a downtrend. So I'm just going to look at um, this downtrend again i'm just going to look at this downtrend right here you see we have a break of structure to the downside uh a break of structure here a break of structure here and um no break of structure down here then you find this change of character to the upside and then prices coming to test this other block right here yeah okay and then you can find the same thing up in here as well you can see we have um, this to be a break of structure for an uptrend we add this we add this we add this we add it all the way up here and then um, right here we add a change of character price is failing to create new irai and then going all the way down yeah okay so um so guys that is it to break of structure and change of character now one last thing i would want to add is there's no holy grail to trading change of character or to changing um break of structures now one easy way to do this is to like i have illustrated in this video to basically just wait for a pullback into an order block or a demand zone after a change of character to get your orders filled but like i just said there is no holy grail to trading change of character so whichever way it appeals to your strategy whichever way it works best for you just stick to it yeah 
So that is it for this video, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day and expect more videos from me. Once again, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, as well as leave a comment below.